Hello you and welcome to Elite Pilates Teacher Training in the United Kingdom in England uh, down here in sunny Devon. I'm Paul, I'm on the Reformer today as you can see and today I'm going to talk about lunges. Specifically I'm going to talk about the resistance and how that can affect what muscles are working and to what extent they're working and to what extent you're helping to stretch off muscles or not. So, a basic lunge. Covered in another video. I tend to, on my reformer, I put the malleolus roughly in line with that part of the footrest there, where the footrest actually attaches to the carriage. The further forward that foot is, the more you'll stretch off the hip flexor on this other side. However, I tend to give Pilates moves not really for any one thing. It's usually a couple, two, three things. So, and that's where the resistance comes in now. Different resistances can work in different ways. I'm not going to mention colours. Uh, uh, springs. For one reason, I don't actually have coloured springs, some of them are, but at different springs have different resistances, I believe, on different some different forms, so there'll be different strengths. So don't overthink it. What I'm basically on about is a basic lunge of step up that to that. So what's that working? Well, the main reason I usually give it is for hip flexor stretching, in particular for the cellus major. Yes, you've got your iliacus, rectus femoris, sartorius, tension facial latter, you're also stretching off, but mainly the cellus, especially to stay as upright as you can. You're stretching off the cellus because it attaches to the T12. So, what else is it working? A basic one where you keep the knee over the ankle is still working this thigh. And your bum cheek and your glutes there, but it moves. With a relatively strong resistance, it's really different for everyone. So, for me, that's a bit of a chat. Right. So, what's happening that's more challenging to push out? If anything, it's less, a little bit less challenging on the support leg. Support leg is still working, just a little bit less challenging. What it does fire up more though is this the opposite leg, especially the bum. You can particularly see much of the show from the other side. So it's making this work harder as you stretch out and focus on the bum. By doing that, it works antagonistically, possibly the chain maybe the bum works antagonistically with the cells. So if you can get the bum to fire up as you send it away, you should be able to sink further and put that in more of a stretch. Again, because we work antagonistically, possibly the chain of the anterior part. This contracts, that's got to relax the hip flexor because you've got maybe an extension. Yeah? From the hip and extension, squeeze the bum, you've got an extension, but you've got to relax. So you get a little bit more out of it, a little bit more out of it, with more resistance. Yeah? Let's lead back a little bit. Let's change the resistance now. What happens when you go to a lighter plane? I've got a yellow one on, you said I wasn't going to mention colours. <laughs> I've got a yellow spring, it's the lighter spring that I've got. What happens now when you do basically the same sort of movement? But oh, comes a few straight away. <laughs> one is more to control, that just wants a little truth that way, which it nearly did basically, yeah? So it's more control. It makes this leg work a lot harder. As a general rule of thumb for most moves, when you use a lighting resistance, your form and your technique has got to be spot on. That's physically challenged, it's more about controlling it and not just letting it fly away. Still getting a good stretch on this leg, very good stretch, but it's more about balance and control now. There's more control required overall, but it certainly makes this leg and the bum work harder with a lighter resistance. Again, it depends on why you're giving it and what you want to achieve out of it, but the resistance can. On a lot of movements in Pilates on the reformer, you change and alter the resistance. It can almost dramatically change um, what muscles are working completely. One in particular springs to mind is the push-offs, the hack slides. When you use a really light resistance and you keep your lower back flat, it's, it's just abdominal movements. It's not legs at all, all abdominals. It's brilliant. So, same thing, you mess around with the resistance, change the resistance, it can dramatically alter. Um, that's one version or one thing we can do with lunges is just alter and play around with the resistance to make it more challenging or harder. I'm Paul from Elite Pilates Teacher Training. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, or comment on YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook, Elite Pilates Teacher Training. And thanks for watching.